how we can import MATLAB files into the MNE environment. Here I have a few MATLAB files. These MATLAB files correspond to EEG dataset which has been acquired from Motor Imagery PCI experiment. And these MATLAB files have the following uh, structure. It's basically 3D MATLAB structure which has been segmented from the continuous dataset. The dimensionality of these MATLAB files are as follows. First, we have channels, second, time samples, and then trials. The, these MATLAB files uh, come with labels. Y1 corresponds to foot movement imagination, Y2 corresponds to left hand imagination, right hand imagination, and we also have a rest. The so EEG has been segmented with a 3 seconds time window, and the sampling frequency is equal to 200. 56 and we have 32 channels. So basically this is not a continuous EEG but the EEG that has been segmented and saved as a MATLAB. First let's import necessary libraries on the MPI and then we use a, a scipy input output function to load the MATLAB first, right? So load mat allows us to load files with dot mat extension, right? And import and then we also utilize the glob. So second so let's find the MATLAB files in the directory. So these are the MATLAB files we have. Also, you can see here. And now, uh, using the uh, load mat, we can import the MATLAB files. So that uh, is a loaded data. So let's extract relevant fields. Right? We have X and then Y. So the X has the following shape. Following first dimension corresponds to number of channels. As I said, it's the data has been acquired using 32 channels. This is time samples, 768, right? So if we convert it, in, it into seconds, it will be equal to three seconds. Considering the sampling frequency of 256, we have a number of trials. So Y shape. So Y has X and Y. Y is labeled, right? Class of task, task. So for class. And then if you just have a quick look at the first 10 trials, okay, the Y has the following structure. So basically, wherever you find this positive one, this corresponds to first, second trial, okay, corresponds to, let's see, so four, right, rest. Okay, so we count one, two, three, four. So it's similar to one hat encoding, but uh, we are using negative ones to denote other class. So we are interested in these positive ones. Let's find where the non-negative right ones are located and then construct labels. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3 and then we can quickly convert it into the follow. So first 4, 4, okay, this is 4, 4, right? Labels, shape. this is um, the number of labels that correspond to the number of uh, trials, okay? We have this X, which is our NumPy array, which has been loaded from MATLAB, right? First step, when we want to convert this MATLAB into MNE, we just want to make sure that the dimensions correspond to the standard that MNE uses. So MNE uses first dimension as number of trials, second, number of channels, and then third, time samples, right? So duration in time. Here we have three seconds. We need to provide the channel names. We need to have these channel names. So whenever you place the uh, sensors on someone's skull, you have this information, right? So channel names, the this state set part from this location. And then uh, we need to provide, let's say, okay, I have to change this one, event ID. Event ID is a dictionary that contains information about the class. Okay, I need to do it uh, differently. Foot, movement imagination is one. Left hand is two. Uh, right hand imagination is denoted by three in our Y uh, array. So rest is four. Event ID, dictionary, we are passing this to MNE object and sampling frequency. Okay. So make sure you have this following information, right, along with your MATLAB array in order to be able to create, a, create an MNE object. So data should be in the following order, trial channel samples. And the array, okay, is again a uh, one dimensional array, let's see. And sampling frequency, that's what we need. Event ID, class labels, or labels of the experimental conditions. And we need channel names. That's all what we need to create an MNE object. 
number of channels. Yes, we also need this information. So first we create an ME object, which contains information that we need to create the ME. Again, object. So channel names, number of channels, sampling frequency. There are even more fields that we may need to consider. Once we create this, uh, instantiate this object, we need to set a montage. We need to also provide the 3D positions of this channel. Right, digitize electrode position. In this case, we're just using standard 1020 electrode placement. We will assume that the location of these sensors have been acquired following the standard 1020 electrode placement system. All right, let's see. So once we create it, we have the following field names, 32 channels, digitize. Okay, this is where this information is needed. There's some others, number of channels, alpha and frequency. Okay, low pass and high pass are kind of say it was automatically identified from the data. Now we need to create an event matrix with event that has alternating event code. So here, for example, event matrix okay, contains the following information. So sample onsets, okay, second column corresponds to zeros and then labels. Look, number of events, okay. So here we have an onset of consecutive events, I mean conditions. So at zero, four, after three seconds, another four, like rest, rest. And then after three seconds, we have one, right? This corresponds to foot imagination. So this is the last event. So imagine these are the continuous data. So time samples in our imported X, all right? And then this is a needed for a mini. We are taking all these 1291 and then kind of concatenating along this dimension. Another thing that we need to provide is T min means uh, when did the condition start? In this case, the data has been segmented right after the onset of the experimental condition, which is imagination for one of these four. So we can provide zero as onset. We use MNE's uh, epochs array. So we pass the data, information, and the events that we have created, the onset of each event, and then event ID. So now if you just run this, we will create epochs, so which is already uh, ready to use a mini object. Info, epoch, and then get data. Our NDRA is located here. Uh, once we have this in the mini environment, we can do a lot of things. For example, quick visualization, average, epochs, average, and then plot of all data. And also, this is raw, not processed data, so you can perform different kinds of pre processing, removing these uh, artifacts, outliers. These are a sign of bad channel. Different kind of things that MNE provides. So, if you plot a power spectral density, also uh, plot image channel okay time so from zero to three seconds right you see we average all data across all trials and visualizing we have a look at census locations these are the corresponding we have provided these channel labels in the info and then the 3d digitized location have been imported using 10 20 electrode placement system box now have the follow right so foot imagination say 120 Four trials, left hand imagination, 322, rest, and then right hand, right? So if you want to analyze only the foot imagination, we do the following epochs, foot. So, and if you want to visualize data, we just plot it. So uh, we need to do some scaling here. That's why we see black. And similarly, you can do rest, right hand. This is data from right hand. We need channel formation, sampling frequency, and we need to create event ID. We need to provide labels. And then we can just quickly import MATLAB to MNE. And once in MNE, you can do all sorts of different kind of pre-processing, visualization, cleaning, and other things.